Yo, what up? It's the dude Tank Lit. You know, salute to King of the Dot, Blackout 5, Pat Stay, Sharon, all that. I just got off watching a 37 minute battle. Shit was crazy. Took me two hours to get through that shit. You know, just reviewing the lines, like on some pause, rewind, go back, like, did he really say that? Shit was bananas. So, I want to say, you know, I've been a little selfish, you know, these cats is top tiers. I'm trying to climb up the ropes, you know, that ladder shit. And, you know, I'm putting hundreds and hundreds of videos out. And with that said, I don't really have the time. Like, I be watching all the battles, staying up, you know, then writing my bars against these cats. But all that time spent, I don't really have time to be making blogs, video blogs, about, like, all these hot battles that was going down. But with that said, you know, hands down, I gotta say, for whatever's out right now, for 2015, that's being aired, like, on some current relevant shit, like, this Sharon versus Pat Stay, you know, title match, hands down, battle of the year. So, you know, I want to give you my two cents on the situation. So, keep in mind, like, you know, I don't really blog about other battles that go down. I'm like on some tank lip shit, doing tank lip, usually. So, I don't know, like, you know, the correct format of how to really be doing, like, the play-by-play -play shit. You know, if you go on the video and scroll down the comments, basically whatever I'm going to say here on the video, I already kind of said, you know, in, in the posts that I put on this link. You know, I posted some mad shit, you know, quoting these cats. There was hotline after hotline. Like, for real, there's a reason why I'm calling it Battle of the Year. So, forgive me, I'm going to have to deviate and check my computer here. And see, you know, what lines I wrote down. I'm going to be quoting these guys for you. Giving, you know, some feedback on certain lines they said. And so let's get into it. You know, uh, round one, you know, started with Sharon. So I got a line from Sharon that says, You're just Bruce Buffer. You just talk before other people fight. That was a dope line. Like, before that line, he said some shit about, you know, Pat Stay might be Buffer, but then he says, you're just Bruce Buffer. You just talk before other people fight. You know, Bruce Buffer be commentating all them, them you know, fights and shit. That was, that was a fucking hot line. Same round, round one, he comes, Sharon comes with some shit. I'll battle you in a handicap stall and relinquish your dominance. Because you're such an attention whore, you can't even shit without fishing for compliments. What? Sharon beasting on this shit. Like, at this point, you know, I'm paying attention. Shit was fucking mad fire. Then my dude, Sharon, says, You're from the dark side, but can't use... Your, your Han Solo, your Han Solo, you know, on some Jedi shit, you know, he's starring bars, like some Star Wars shit, you know. Then my man Sharon says a line, the king's getting dumped in Queen Elizabeth, that's a royal flush, you know, crowd was reacting mad crazy, and I understood why the crowd was reacting. That was a hot line before, before all that was said. He was talking some shit about Jax, you know. He got all them cards named and it fucking hits it with the royal flush punchline. Shit was crazy. You know, uh, then some more shit. Sometimes I get, this is another Sharon line. Sometimes I get down on myself like Marilyn Manson. Y'all know how fucking, you know, whether shit's fiction or, or truth or some shit, the rumors about 
Marilyn Manson cut out his fucking ribs so he could suck his own dick and shit. So he was like doing some, you know, charismatic, like, you know, he was swagging on the shit. Like playing like he was crying and getting down on myself. Like Marilyn Manson, like, you know, he was, he was fucking sucking his own dick, but the flip, like he was getting down and depressed on some shit. Bars, like that even on some joke shit. That's bars over bars. Fucking Sharon Beeston. Says some shit. Uh, I think this is still a, a round one quote. But for, it, it's possible it could be, I'm reading my notes here, it's possible it could have been round two, but whatever, I'm just going to give you the line. Sharon says, your name should be history, because you have a strange way of repeating yourself. I'm just going to write what I put on the post here. On so many levels, this bar is fucking intricate. I don't even fully know if Sharon realizes what he just stated here. I mean, I be fucking with the concept that the world turns and we just going through some shit we already went through before. And he wasn't even trying to come off on that tip. But this line is just fucking ultimate. Like, you know, history repeats itself. We heard that, you know, phrase before. But, you know, he flips it on some shit. He's coming one way with it. But see, I've been fucking with some conspiracy theories that we actually going through. Some shit that was already round, like the world really a circle or round type shit, like on some different levels than Columbus type shit. Like somehow the fucking world repeats itself. So I don't even think Sharon fully understands like how fucking dope that line is. So uh, some more shit. Yo, this one is fucking bananas. Sharon says... Seattle on the one yard line, they gonna be surprised when you pass away. You know, pass away like on some dead shit. You know, pass like as in, you know, the pass game in football. You on the one yard line, you should be fucking running it in for the easy score. But he's saying fucking Seattle be on some stupid shit and pass it instead of doing the fucking, you know, the, set, the thing that makes sense, you know, running him. I was thinking about this line. That is a fucking dope line. Like, he fucking murdered Pat Stay with that line. I was thinking, if I was Pat Stay, like, if I was on some tank lip shit, but I was Pat Stay, if Pat Stay was on that tank lip level, I would have fucking rebutted that line on some fucking monster bar shit. And I would have said some shit like, Fucking, what was I going to say? No, let me black for a second. There's a flaw in what you say. You forgot about Marshawn Lynch? Well, if I'm Pat Stay, let me show you who's the best back in the game. Like on some shit like that, you know, fucking Marshawn Lynch... He a fucking, you know, the running back, monster running back for Seattle. And fucking Sharon saying, like, Seattle gonna pass it instead of run it in. I'd be like, you know, point out the flaw in fucking Sharon's line. Like, you know, there's a flaw in what you say. You forgot about Marshawn Lynch. If I'm Pat Stay, let me show you who's the best back in the game. You know, but that would be on some tank lip shit, but Pat Stay not quite on that fucking tank lip level. He a fucking top T in Canada. He don't want to fuck with that special soldier shit, you know, that fucking American USA special soldier shit. You know, special forces. He can't fuck with that tank lip. So I understand how Pat Stay didn't come up with that rebuttal. So on to the next. Uh, you know, I don't know if this, I, I, I'm getting, you know, flustered here. I don't know if the line, these Sharon lines, uh, I'm quoting are round one, 